Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Shamar Crossfield here, and as you can see, it's a pretty different setup right now, and that's simply because we're doing a different type of video. So it's Heritage Day by the time you're watching this, if you're watching it on the day that it was released, and I decided that why not just do a fun little Jamaican trivia quiz to see how much I really know about my country on Jamaica Day, on Heritage Day. So let's just see how this goes. I hope that I do well, especially because, you know, it's literally Heritage Day, but I think I will. So yeah, let's just get into it. And also, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Spread awareness, guys. Her name is Jamaica, and I said smile, smile. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first quiz. So this is a quiz, um, 20 questions. So let's see how I do. <laughs> so which bird colored little bird immortalizes Jamaica's national bird is endemic to Jamaica? All will be well if you get this one. Doctor. Doctor bird. Doctor bird. Everybody knows that. That's easy. Join the definitions of these two phrases to make one Jamaica related word. Male monarchs plus imperial unit of weight. King. King. Male monarchs. King. King. Plus imperial. King gram. King gram. Kilogram. What are imperial units of weight? I don't. King gram. Gram. Meter. King meter, uh, king liter. Boy, if you don't gram pound, king pound, king pound. I don't know. I'm just gonna put. I, I really don't know. King gram. I'm gonna put. I, king gram sounds like it makes sense. King gram. Well, well, looking at it, it don't. It doesn't. It don't look like actual word. But you know, I'm just gonna. I don't know the answer. I, I'll be interested to know what the answer is for that one. Alright, so in 1993, Jamaican beauty was crowned Miss World. 1993, Psh, Lisa Anna, Lisa For the most part, this is simple enough. Christopher Columbus is credited with the discovery of Jamaica. But which set of people did he find already inhabiting the island? Uh, the Arawaks and the Tainos. So I'm going to just go up the limb and say that. Which of these art pieces was not sculpted by Edna Manley? Um, which of these art pieces was not sculptured by Edna Manley? Um, I don't know. What should we emancipate ourselves from? Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery by people. Mental slavery, sorry about that. Which of the following is not true of Marcus Mosiah Garvey? He is one of Jamaica's national heroes. He founded the Black Star Line, which promoted the return of African and ancestral lands. He rose to prominence in America and cultivated many of his ideas there. He was arrested and charged with rape. Oh, shoot. It's between the, la the last two. I think it's between the last two. Oh my gosh. I feel so ashamed that I don't know this. As a history student, first of all. Did he? I knew that he was arrested. But I don't think he was arrested for rape. Not rape. It's not, I think that was so obvious. I'm so sorry. But I think that was so obvious. I think that was so obvious. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Um, continuing. With Jamaican track and field sprinter gained prominence at the 2008 as she became the first Caribbean female. I don't know, man. I want to say Ver I, I want to say Shelly and Veronica. I could be wrong for both, though. I'm so, oh my. Well, this is kind of embarrassing to be honest. It's kind of embarrassing, I don't know this. Again, I want these questions to end now. I don't know, I'm gonna go to Oliver Samuels. Pokemon video games are popular in Jamaica. Can some Pokemon evolve into more powerful forms? Wait, what? <laughs> I wasn't expecting a Pokemon. I wasn't expecting a Pokemon uh, question on this. Pokemon video games are popular in Jamaica. Can some Pokemon evolve? Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's pretty much general knowledge. Which currency is most commonly used in Jamaica? The Jamaican dollar. Submit my answers. Okay. 
I got the second one wrong. As, as. King's to Oh my gosh! I'd like to apologize dearly to you, Jamaica. I'm so sorry that I let you down. I can't believe I got that one wrong. Kingston. Can't believe I got that one wrong. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It was Celiano. It was Celiano. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Celiano. If you're watching this, which I doubt you are. Oh my. 17 out of 20. You scored 255 points. The average score for this quiz is 14 out of 20. Hey, I'm above average. That was good. That was good. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. All right, so I want to do another one. Um, I'm kind of probably even out the score. I don't know. Or find the average. But yeah, I'm going to do it another one. I think it for this heritage quiz, I think I'll just do the where am I in Jamaica one. I think that one would be the best one for me to do. All right, so... Let's see how well I even know places in Jamaica. By the way, I hardly travel outside of my own parish in Kingston. So it's like, let's see how I do. All right, so first question. Let's start off in town. I am the corner of Duke and Beston streets. There is a rather plain brick and concrete building there. They tell me it is home to the Jamaican parliament. Gordon House, leaving town. We are not a place that was once the wealthiest city in the new world. It was destroyed. Port Royal. I know, Port Royal, Port Royal. I just know that. We are now visiting the former home of Hollywood actor Errol Flynn in the 90s. It was the setting for the movies Cocktail and Lord of the Flies. Where are we? I don't know. It's the first time I hear about the movie here. I never yet hear about the movie here. I'm gonna go with Treasure Beach. Jamaica was also home to an Ian Fleming, originator of the legendary spy James Bond. Unusual source, what was it? A go go bar owner. Oh, no. oh my god, James Bond, a book on birds. I don't know about that. Plumber that worked for him. They say it was unusual, they said unusual source. So I'm gonna just go with a plumber that worked for him. It probably was. I feel like I did so badly on this, on this one so far. I feel like I did so badly. Time to fly. I'm in Kingston and want to head to the airport. What is the name of the airport nearest to the city? That is most definitely Norman Manley. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Let me let me see my answers. See how well I did. A book on birds. Ian Fleming introduces Jamaica. I was looking for a name for my hero. Nothing like Perengin. Uh, and I found it on the cover of one of my Jamaican Bibles. Birds of the West Indies by James Bond. I thought, when I saw that, let me tell, no, let me explain myself, let me explain myself. So what I was thinking, when they said a book on birds, I was thinking that they meant like he got, he might have gotten the name from a bird that's named James Bond or Bond's James, I don't know. But I was, wasn't thinking that, I, oh, like the author, the author being James Bond. Wow, wow. I didn't do bad. 8 out of 10. The average score is 6 out of 10. Okay, 8 out of 10, that not bad. That not bad at all. So yeah guys, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. This whole thing has been pretty enlightening for me. I only took, that was in total 30 questions. Yeah, those are 30 very enlightening questions. And I can safely say that now I'm going to leave and know something more. But yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe guys. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So please make sure to subscribe. And yeah guys, happy Heritage Day. Shaman Crossfield.